myself. My name is Andreas Sieger and I'm the head of the communications department of the Austrian Fire Brigade Association and the managing director of the ÖBFV Media GmbH, which is a 100% subsidiary of the ÖBFV. We are some kind of PR agency of the Austrian Fire Brigade Association. Before that, I was self-employed in 10 years in video and film production and I studied public communication at the University of Applied Sciences of the, in the city of Graz. And in my little leisure time, next to my job and my family, I'm the commander of the Voluntary Fire Brigade in the city of Graz. Now I want to start my presentation with some questions. Who of you here in the room is using a smartphone? Hopefully not right now in the moment, but in general. I think everybody. Who's using social media channels like WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter? I think every hand. Okay. Who is using, and now we're going into the deep, who is using the, those channels purely private, so without a connection to a fire department, to a company, uh, like showing uh, in, uh, uh, in uniform in the profile picture? Who is using it purely private? So I can, can't see, just, just a few hands. Who dealt intensively how this all works? How, how we have to, to uh, behave in those social media channels? How, how to yeah, deal with the, with the social media channels, the, the private, privacy settings and so on? Who really knows about that? No, no one? Who read the terms and conditions of, for example, Facebook? <laughs> only laughing. I only know one person who read the, the terms and conditions and afterwards he really thought about subscribing or not. He did because it was some kind of, yeah, you, 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 all, you, you need to, to be in social media if you want to communicate with others. So it's very hard to avoid being in some kind of social media channel. In my presentation, I want to mention uh, these topics. I want to talk about the standing of the fire service in general. I want to talk about the challenge of the internet. I want to talk about the goals of our initiative and how we can realize that. And I want to talk about our future goals on the, and the opportunities we have with, with social media and with more competence in this area. Austria's large fiber family offers a quite representative cross-section of society. Pupils, students, workers, apprentices, farmers, doctors, pastors, retirees. 340,000 people of different ages, different education and different motives uh, in the commitment with the fire department. 99% of these fire brigade members, 99% of these people, to the firefighting service in Austria for free, without salary, volunteer, beside the job and the family. The fire service in Austria enjoys an excellent reputation, is well organized and plays a very important role in the municipalities in many ways. Regardless of the size of the municipality, people trust the fire brigade and give them good marks. That is very important for the society in feeling safe and secure. Firefighters are almost unchallenged at the top of the popularity. Here you can see the various social media channels. I don't want to go in, in, into details. Uh, but these channels can increase this confidence into the fire service. We can facilitate direct contact to the civilian population, the media, journalists, and our own comrades by being online in social networks, by using them. But we have to use them correctly. Only if our social media behavior and, and of each and every one of, of our uh, firefighters corresponds to the values of the fire brigade as shown, Every firefighter has his own, his own standing and his own understanding and, and the very own personal way of behaving in social networks and that makes the internet to a true challenge. By closer look, in my way as a, as a fire brigade member, 
you can see that many prosumers, and we are all uh, we all are prosumers when we are online. Uh, we are producing content and we are consuming content in the same way. Um, many people reveal everything about themselves and their CV, membership in clubs, uh, uh, um, the company you're working in, past and present, um, school pictures, for example, party photos. Let's see my profile. Uh, where I studied, who I'm, who I'm married to, when I got married, my birthday, my phone number, that all is available in the internet. Much more reveals the profile picture. Am I a gym fan, a soccer player, a party junkie, or am I a firefighter? With false privacy settings, all this information is visible to user or users worldwide. On the website of allfacebook.de, I found the following data, which refer to the stock exchange report from the second quarter of the year 2019. Facebook has 2.4 billion, billion active users. Of that, 1.6 billion users are active every day. So I don't want my phone number in that kind of network. From the moment we identify ourselves as a fire brigade member in social networks, we are no longer purely private anymore. The statements made, whether it's a separate posting or a comment, are attributed to a fire brigade member. Even a seemingly harmless like can be perceived as expression of the fire brigade. Even as a private person, I should not leave my behavior in social networks purely to my emotion and to my current mood. For members of the fire department, it is a condition to appear correct in the public. And this now includes, includes also the online presence. The behavior in the fire service is also part of our basic firefighting training. Especially in uniform, each firefighter represents the entire fire department. Therefore. Every firefighter should show a good and reasonable behavior in all situations. Probably we should clarify that all situations means online situations as well. The Austrian PR Ethics Council, uh, in its revised version of the Code of Ethics in Digital Communication, has identified eight principles for a thoughtful ethical behavior in online and social media channels. One, fairness. Handle communication, com handle communicative power carefully. Respect. Respect the personality and opinions of others. Responsibility. As a communicator, and especially as a communicator, accept to be responsible for your statements and acting. Moderation. Specify clear guidelines for the discourse. Clarity. Define rules, guide, and give your team orientation. Transparency. Disclose the role and the motivation as a communicator. Courtesy, stay polite. Privacy, treat personal as personal and confidential as confidential. These eight principles were developed for companies, for PR agencies, but can easily transfer to communication within the fire brigade. In fact, these eight principles should be state of the art of every human being, no matter being offline or online, being a member of a fire brigade or not. To summarize, publishing anything on social media follows the same principles as sending a radio message in a mission. Think first, then press, which means write, then swallow, which means read over it again and rethink the eight principles, and after that, talk, publish. The best advertisement for a company is satisfied employees. They communicate the pleasant working atmosphere, the, the sympathetic boss, the nice colleagues, and the benefits of the, of the employment out into the world. They talk about it to their families, their friends, at the regular table, and on social media. They will tell how happy they are in their job, or the complete opposite. The fire brigade works the same way. Highly motivated firefighters spread enthusiasm and convey an enormously strong bond to the fire brigade. 
This reinforces the credibility of the whole organization, the entire fire service system. A lot of Austrian firefighters use social networks. Many of them show that they are members of the fire brigade by putting uh, profile pictures into Facebook with, with uniform. Through their behavior and interaction on social media, these members also influence the, influence the image of the fire service, both positively and negatively. Do we want to be seen like that in public? Very difficult is one person standing as a firefighter and at the same time showing as a member of a political party. So we have a picture of the firefighter, the fire brigade, and the profile picture showing his membership of a political party. Can we avoid it? We can talk and we can raise the awareness. Politics and religion have nothing to do within the fire brigade. Again, our basic firefighting training. And no, we also can't prevent a fire brigade of using a protective cover to make the SCBA look like beer cans. But do we have to see that on Facebook? Only a single misconduct, a short blindfold commentary out of emotion can scratch the credibility and the good image. Even worse, if this statement is reinforced by frequent sharing and may find its way from the social space into the media space, or even worse, firefighter convicted of incitement, 6,000 euros fee and suspension. In the last years, the general behavior on the internet has developed, developed in a strange direction. Many people still assume completely anon complete anonymity on the internet. Consequences are not feared. Many people see hate postings, they, they start uh, uh, mobbing. That has become uh, a part of, of everyday life. Society becomes emotion, emotional blunt. Everybody has already seen violent videos or violent pictures. They're getting less and less in our heads. This is becoming a habit, it's becoming normal to us. And continuously, users vilify, harass and bully. If such, state, if such statements come from people who are obviously part of a highly trusted fire brigade, then not only the individual, but the entire fire department may suffer damage. And that is exactly where we, where, uh, where our work started with the social media and the media comp uh, 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 competence initiative. And we wanted to achieve two main goals with this initiative. Goal one, we want to promote the safe and responsible use of digital media, in particular to prevent damage to the image of the fire brigade. And our second goal, we want to develop and expand the competences to be able to use digital media effectively and efficiently for the public relations work of the fire brigade. We developed the project together with the support of Safer Internet AT, which is the Austrian partner of InSafe. InSafe is a European network in which all national awareness centers work together to educate and raise awareness within the European Union CEF, the Connecting Europe Facility Telecom Safer Internet Program. So probably this initiative will find its way out of Austria as well. Our initiative is also financially supported by the Ministry of the Interior. A flyer has been finished some weeks ago and it is available and it's available in our State Fire Brigade Association and can also be ordered or downloaded online uh, at this link for free. You can order it for free. It's in German, but probably we can bring it in, 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 in other languages as well in the future. I just wait for the pictures. I can, I can send it to you as well. I think you, you get the presentation if you want. 
Starting in January 2020, workshops will, workshops will be offered that can take place directly in the fire stations. Our first idea was to develop courses or, or organize focus, focus days, but, but we would only have reached those people who are already interested in the, in the theme and who, are al already, who, and who already know how to behave online. We wanted to, to get in touch with the average consumer or target audience, our active users, are active users without detailed knowledge of their online habits. In order to reach this group, people, we have to, uh, to, in order to reach these people, we have to go regional. We have to go directly to the fire stations where they are at home. Two workshops were established. The first for the youth firefighters up to the age of 16, the second for the adult workshop participants. Trainers were provided by saferinternet.at visit fire brigades to work out solutions in about two hour workshops. In order to prepare those trainers, we started the Train to Trainer program. Not only online knowledge is important for those trainers, but firefighting knowledge. They probably have to answer questions from the firefighters and they have to know the system. So we tried to show them how the firefighting system in Austria is working, the background, the structure, the hierarchy, but also the federalism in the Austrian fire service and various practices in a fire department. In the next step, fire brigade members who fulfill certain requirements can also be trained as safer internet trainers. Thus, the knowledge is passed on by a fire brigade member to other fire department members, which should increase the competence even further. Each workshop is individual. The fire brigade can set priorities. For some, fake news is interesting. For others, hate, hate texting or the legal background. The trainers are well prepared and ready to answer questions because of the train to trainer program. Now we are in a, in a test phase. The first trainers have been prepared and are currently holding test workshops with fire brigades. Then in the next few weeks, we will reevaluate and improve so that the regular operation can start at the beginning of 2020. I'm very happy that this initiative is supported by all nine state fire brigade associations. A workshop will cost 144 euros, not per participant, but the workshop, uh, uh, but, but, the, but one single workshop. By financing the first 80 workshops as Austrian Fire Brigade Association together with a, with a cooperation partner, uh, we want to promote those workshops. The first 80 fire brigades uh, will benefit and hopefully continue to tell so we can increase the media competence initiative across the country. Another value of these workshops at fire brigades are, uh, is of course the multiplier effect. Every member of the fire brigade has a surrounding. Especially youth firefighters are known to bring those topics home to their families, to their parents, in, in school, to their friends. My hope, again somewhat naive, uh, that many people outside the fire brigade are also thinking about the individual picture they draw at, of themselves in social networks. Because the internet does not forget. Once online, always online. Let's go. <laughs> um, for the practical relevance in the workshop, 24 scenarios separated in four topics, mission communication, semi-private communication, disaster communication, and internal communication were prepared. These scenario scenarios clarify the issues, raise questions, explain what is particularly important, and finally provide suggestions for improvement. A posting concerning a traffic accident with casualties, a reaction in the politi political environment, an advertisement for a firefighting e event, the challenge of publishing information without clearance or setting up an internal WhatsApp group. All that are kind of scenarios. I want to show you one example. The scenario is uh, called Publish Alarm Address. And the description says, your fire station uses an alarm address alarm display for all information about the incoming alarm, so every firefighter can see it on the way to the fire truck. The information is total stuck in cat door. 
That call is so unique that you take a picture of the alarm display and post it instantly before dispatching on the fire department's own Facebook page with the sentence, first time, let's see, smiley. Then there is a discussion in the workshop. What, what might be problems of that posting? Address, telephone number of the caller and many other information might be visible on the picture. Possible questions from users who post and comment this posting might be, was there a delay in dispatching because of this posting? Had anybody to wait because you were on social media? Don't they know what to do because it's the first time for them? Are they making fun of a poor toddler? Ask yourself, do I have to post this before dispatching? Do I harm anybody by this posting? Rethink these eight uh, things I, I, I talked about before from the PR and Ethics Council. Do I harm the fire brigade? the victims, others? What is important to think of? If our personal data has been removed, then of course this is an interesting posting. However, this must be moderated and should not be left unobserved for hours without updating or answering questions. What can I do better? Publish a posting after returning from that mission. Eventually you have the clearance from the parents to publish pictures from the toddler as well. This might be a much better story with much more coverage. So not only speed on, in, in social media is important. Uh, coming to the end, I want to talk about our future goals and our opportunities. And our cooperation with Safer Internet led to the cooperation with the Association for the Promotion of Digital Competences in Austria, Fit for Internet. In six areas of competence, focal points were structured to give an overview of the digital requirements of our time. A self-check allows every user to check the digital fitness and improve it if necessary through that link. This is already online in two variants, uh, light version and advanced version looks like this and starts with, uh, starts with uh, I, will buy a, uh, I want to buy a smartphone what do I have to be aware of? And ends with telebanking and very high sophisticated uh, uh, themes uh, uh, concerning the social media and media work. Each fire brigade member brings in some digital skills from private life or the jobs uh, qualifications and gets additional digital skills in fire brigade schools. For example, the machinist course also teaches some digital skills by learning how to operate the pump control system. So by becoming a firefighter, there is a basic knowledge or even knowledge on an expert level. In order to be able to prove this knowledge inside and outside, and that is very important for us, the fire service world, we are currently working on a certification system. The aim is to increase the media competence in different stages in general, but also specific for firefighters. And finally, to provide a test. The certificate is intended to provide firefighters with an officially recognized proof of digital competence, even in civilian life. The more firefighters deal responsible with social networks, the fewer firefighters are in danger of putting themselves and the fire brigade in a bad light. And I hope that this media competence initiative will do a small part to increase the competence on that level. Thank you very much for having me and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you Andreas. Any question maybe? Very interesting topic and the interesting approach of uh, Austrian Fire Service. If not, it's a lunchtime.